So we'll now jump to a bit of an interlude video where I stopped talking about content for a bit and what I want to focus on here today is what I believe would make a student a band 6 student at the mathematics courses. Typically, I would say a band 6 student has pretty much the ability to do most, if not all, of the following. So number one, leading off on video two, they know how to handle their silly mistakes. They pretty much narrow down exactly what their silly mistakes are and where they're prone to and whatnot, and they've developed a whole bunch of strategies to use in the exam to help counteract these silly mistakes and thus be able to scab all of their marks back. Number two, they have the ability to cope with algebra. So every now and then you'll see some computation where the algebra gets really, really berserk. Like it's not going to be friendly algebra. And for most students, that's really just going to scare them off. And I really don't blame them, but a typical band six student will be one that knows how to push through the algebra anyway, and at the very least, give it a crack in an attempt to scab as many marks again as they can possibly get their hands on. And then number three, they have full mastery of the basics. So it's pretty self-explanatory because knowing all the basics, that makes life easier. But trust me, it can make your life easier a lot. It can potentially let you open the paper and instantly know up to a half or even up to three quarters of the paper just like that. And then number four, the confidence in improvising. So other band six questions, they won't be computationally demanding, but they may require what you would consider such abstract ways of thought that a typical student will probably not be able to achieve at least within that two to three hour time span. And pretty much trying to really focus on that is really hard and that leads to number five. And I feel like perhaps the thing that would really help this the most is the fact that these students will look beyond how a solution works when doing past papers, but also focus on the why. Because by understanding why something works, they develop a better intuition for solving these problems and thus they have a better idea about how they can adapt the stuff that they know into something that is much more foreign and thus get the marks that will probably only be gotten by like 2% of the cohort. Thanks everyone.